As cultural outsiders made their way to the Tibetan plateau, they often encountered imagery and practices that were unfamiliar to them. Coming from a Christian-centered European perspective, they often misunderstood these as demons or embodiments of evil, when in fact, these represent some of the most important tools for practitioners to overcome obstacles. Over time, as opportunities came up so that Tibetans could work, study, and live overseas, they encountered imagery that was unfamiliar to them. Many fine artists, including Kaysan Lamdark, who you see behind me, saw immediate parallels, or what he thought were parallels, between common imagery in the Western society as what he encountered back home. For example, Gene Simmons is a ubiquitous figure for many Americans and people in the West, where he used his tongue to be provocative and create some controversy among his audiences. The deity Dorje Drakten makes his presence known once he occupies the human oracle through sticking out his tongue, making hissing sounds, and also uttering important prognostications about what the future holds. When placed together, these two images, although they both have the same action of sticking out the tongue, they are both for very, very different purposes. When the artist first encountered them, it was a very perplexing experience to see Gene Simmons with his tongue sticking out, not realizing that he did not have the same exalted status as the Nichung Oracle. So much as it took for education, and deep study, for audiences to begin to properly understand wrathful imagery, it has taken the same sort of understanding for Tibetans in the diaspora to understand their new environments.